Hi, I'm Tish. I'm Juliana. And this is In the Movies at Latin American Film Festival. <laughs> Yeah, we're clearly not currently at the Latin American Film Festival. We are in my house the day after. Yes. Because we couldn't find anywhere to do it right after at the uh, theater. The Latin American Film Festival is going on right now in Ottawa until May 14th. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> The 20th anniversary of it. Yeah, it's the 20th year. I'm working <laughs> for the CFI, Canadian Film Institute, which puts on the Latin American Film Festival. So I've been somewhat working for it, on it, in the last few weeks. Um, I think my name is technically in the program. Oh, that's exciting. Somewhere, which is like why I haven't done anything. Yeah, office assistant, that's... Good for you. Yeah. I in made the, the parking program. I made the parking sign and the so elevator sign. I made some signs. Yeah. That's that's my contribution pretty much. I'm really helpful. But it means we got to go. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> so for me you're super helpful. <laughs> yeah, so we went uh, it opened on Wednesday was the first night. We went on Friday to the Mexican film Elvira, I will give you my life but I'm using it. Yes. Nice long title. <laughs> it's long. Maybe it sounds better though in Spanish, like flows faster. Maybe. And it was preceded by a sh 10 minute short film called Phosphenus. <laughs> I forget how they pronounce we're, it. We're trying. Uh, also from Mexico. Um, yeah. Which is also interesting. It was like a silent film, like just music. Yeah, it was just a little like art film. Yeah, I mean the program says that it's uh, an artful <laughs> short about an artist and his muse, which I would say that I got from it, yeah. and it felt a little bit like maybe like the kind of highs and lows of being an artist and like mm. creating something that comes like from your soul and dealing with. Yeah. I don't know. It was it was enjoyable and mm. it was really well shot. I thought. But... Mm. So the movie. Right. I feel like we can be spoilery because you're probably not gonna see it. <laughs> well yeah, it's not like it'll this get a wide a... release or anything like that. Yeah, if you can get your hands on it somehow. See it. Um, really recommend it. It, it was, was really fun. It was really fun. Movie. It was really funny. It's really great. Also heartbreaking. Yeah. <laughs> also funny. <laughs> it's a uh, comedy with heart. Yeah. Sure. The director of the film or the writer of the film wanted to take the age-old myth of the man that leaves in the middle of the night to go buy cigarettes and never comes back. And that Which was the happens. starting point because that's exactly what happens. Mm -hmm. And then we see the life of his wife that he left behind and everything that she has to then struggle with and go through. Hi Jinx and Sue. <laughs> I like that it starts we don't get to know them before this, so we don't like know them as a couple. It literally just starts when he leaves. And so we get to know this character in this like moment of crisis. Yes. Which I thought was really interesting because I like love her I so much. Know. She's wonderful. And I'm like, I wonder how it would feel if we had like seen her before and then she was in this situation or like, you know. I know. I also feel like you kind of really get to know people when like they're in a oh, crisis, yeah. right? Because like that's kind of when true colors come out because you go to like base instincts. Yeah. So it's, oh God, and she's so wonderful. Well, first she finds like brochures for Acapulco. Acapulco, yeah. Um, so and she's like, fuck, he left me when on like vacation. Yeah, like, and then checks away. the money and realizes that a substantial amount of their savings are gone. Which yeah. like, cash in a drawer in an envelope savings. She also finds a picture of him, like a photo booth strip of him mm -hmm. with a younger man. It looks like they're together. So then she's like calling his office and trying to find out who this man is. And it's this crazy journey of her like getting a job to make money. Mm -hmm. This all takes place in like a week or two. So she like handles her shit. She gets yeah. a job. <laughs> she makes money. She gets into some trouble trying to find her husband and this man, but handles it. Yeah. She's got the really religious neighbor to get for <laughs> kids. <laughs> um, who is also a great character. She was so Yeah, lovely. and she did it really well. Everyone was really, all the acting was really great. It was great, yeah. Cecilia Suarez. Uh, plays Elvira, oh and she was amazing. 
Yeah. Oh, amazing. She also cuts her hair at the beginning of the film. Oh so my she God. has super short hair. And I'm like, yes, girl, looks yes. So hot. <laughs> I'm like, she yeah. Looks so good. <laughs> it has a delightful song in it that's still in my head. Yeah. <laughs> That it's they, weird. she sings in the movie, like sings along yeah. to the car radio, and then it's also in the great final scene and ending credits. It's a song that plays. Yeah, um, yeah, that final scene. Oh my god, I have goosebumps <laughs> thinking about it. It was good. Uh, yeah, you don't understand the title until the like literally last line. The last of the line movie. of the movie. Yeah, and then it's like heartbreaking. I know. <sighs> That's why it's so great. <laughs> like everyone like laughed and. You just like connected with this character so much and just loved her so much and then there's these heartbreaking moments. But then the last scene I was just like floored. Like the yeah. whole thing. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. It was and it was um like the filmmaking, like the cinematography for like a comedy was really it reminded me of like Edgar Wright stuff where you like quick zoom in or like quick pans and like these funny little shots. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't just like the script was funny, like the filmmaking really added to the tone of it and it was just like beautiful looking like the colors. The and... colors are gorgeous in it. But that's partially I think too like Mexico. Mexico. <laughs> and... I kinda wanna just talk about it, but in case you do see it I don't want to. I know I don't want to give away everything. <laughs> it's yeah. an amazing story. It's a very it's a good character story she's put in this unique yes. situation where you really like I said really get to know someone yeah it's a character story without being like slow like a lot happens in it yeah but it's still kind of just all about this woman and how she's dealing with this crisis I love it I do too I'm gonna try and get it so I can watch it again yeah. for sure good plan yeah and if you're wondering, all the movies are being shown with subtitles in English. Yes, so. because <laughs> we do not speak Spanish. No. And, Shocking, um, I know. Because last we were just talking about subtitles and dubbing with the yeah, anime. I know. I and I was like, funny. oh, now we're reading subtitles. And I was like, I found it. I wasn't like annoyed with it. It wasn't too bad. I think your eyes, you just adjust. Yeah. And you learn how to read and look at the whole screen at the same time. Yeah, so the festival is going on for like another couple weeks. There's basically like a movie every night and then like a couple on the Saturdays. Yeah. So if you like movies, or if you have any interest in Latin American culture, countries, mm -hmm. uh, definitely check out one of the movies. Go to the website, I'll put the links down there. Um, yeah. Check them all out, because they all look really good. They do. If, if I could go every <laughs> night, I'd probably see them all. There's a couple documentaries, there's some drama, there's narrative, there's some comedies that look really fun. Just a little bit of everything. If you want to hear more from us, you can listen to our podcast. Yeah, we talk about movies in yeah. the movies with Dish and Juliana. It's us. Our most recent episode <laughs> is about uh, Spirited Away yes. and Hayao Miyazaki's female heroes. Yes. It's really cool. Like I said, we were just talking about dubbing and subtitling, but we also talk about his amazing characters and yeah, anime and just Spirited Away, which is a great movie. It was fun. It was a fun one. Yeah. So keep your eyes out open for that. Coming soon. Yeah. Subscribe and stuff. How do we end this? Just... Bye! Bye! <laughs> <laughs>